Hi guys, Ant from UK Fountain Pens here. Uh, I'm here to give you a tour of the Tyboldi number 60, this black number here in the middle of my tray. Uh, kindly on loan to me today from Iguana Cell, so do check them out if you're interested in buying one of these or any other Tyboldi. This is not the first Tyboldi I've reviewed. I've also reviewed the Perfecta with its unusual rubber clip and the Bononia with its rather curvaceous form and attractive spaghetti resin. But this is a much more sober and retro looking affair in my view. You can already see in the tray, this is a big pen. This is about as long as a, as a 149. It hasn't got a massive nib, it's still a, a number six nib, but this is a quite stately and surprisingly heavy pen uh, in the hand. It comes in a rather attractive gray and orange box, much like all Tyboldi's. It's pleasantly solid, it's pleasantly small as well. I'm always grateful for manufacturers for not taking up too much room in my house. Uh, but what we have here is a, a rather classic flat topped uh, pen. It's got rather retro looking finials actually. These reminded me very much of my Estabrook J uh, and a commenter on Instagram spotted the same thing. Aside from that, it's, uh, it's, it's a relatively uh, sober looking affair. It has a sword clip um, which protrudes midway down the cap. Uh, it's a very strong clip, good grip. The Tyboldi logo is engraved just above these three cap bands. They're not perfectly flush. Um, they, you can feel them under your fingertips, but they're even all the way around. Um, they give a nice balance to the overall look. On the back, you can see Made in Italy is engraved. Um, this joins the like of Maiora and um, uh, Leonardo. Uh, as in-house uh, Italian-made uh, craft. It's always good to see more options coming from there. Um, this is, like I said, quite a large pen and you really feel the weight in your hand. Uh, it doesn't feel as, as insubstantial as the Bononia, which is quite a lightweight pen. Um, unscrewing it takes just one turn, which I always love, great feature. The cap seals well. I haven't noticed any drying out since I've been using this pen. Uh, and what's revealed is quite a good size section that might look a little shorter in photos than you'd expect because the barrel is quite long. The barrel th uh, threads are noticeable but not sharp. And in the hand you can see it is a good looking, comfortable pen. Uh, if you wanted it to turn into a police baton, you can add the cap on the end and post it. It does add some weight. The cap uh, is, is quite massy in its own right. Um, I prefer to use it without, and I, I don't think uh, most users will need to post it. The nib, which you won't see particularly well in this video, is uh, a number six size, probably Bock made, uh, but plain steel nib. It has the Tyboldi Eagle on it, uh, and the grade is stamped quite large at the base. This is an F. Uh, on the reverse, you see an ebonite feed, which is unusual at uh, this price point, certainly, and really sets Tyboldi apart. The previous Tyboldis I've used with ebonite feeds, which generally make pens wetter, um, weren't particularly wet writers. I've reviewed an EF, uh, a B and a BB. This F does write quite wet, although I do have it loaded at the moment with quite a wet ink as well, which helps. Inside... The section screws off and you have a conventional Tyboldi branded uh, international standard converter which screws into the section which I love to see. Um, it just adds that little bit of security. Um, the writing experience is pretty conventional uh, but I don't mean that in a bad way. Turning to a fresh page in the notebook, uh, I've had this uncapped for a little while so just see whether it starts. Um, it writes a true fine line, uh, type Aldi number 60, and it keeps up with even fast writing just fine. Uh, it doesn't have any softness or flexibility to it. It does write on the reverse, or at least it did until this demo. Um, and the line is a, is a, a good degree of wetness. Um, it's just the sort of pen that you could use every day at work and not worry about. Uh, it's a good, solid writer. I, I think there is a need in the world for pens like this, particularly when they feel as solidly built uh, and are as classically good looking as this type Aldi. I think for the money, it offers an excellent value proposition and 
although I might have my head turned by some of the more uh, out there resins that Tyboldi offers on some of its pens, I think the plain black here in the number 60 just looks really nice. Um, it's a it's a classic pen that you will never get bored of, and I don't think it'll let you down either. So there you go. That's the Tyboldi number 60. Thanks very much for watching.